Hi, I'm Megan Rahm, co-author of the Recovering from Mental Illness blog at HealthyPlace.com. I love my city. I've lived in Toledo for about five years now, um, but I am originally from this area. Um, I grew up in a rural area about 45 minutes from here. Toledo is a very affordable place to live. Um, each neighborhood has a personality of its own, and our art museum and zoo um, are just amazing. Um, I'm really happy to be raising my daughter here. However, Toledo is often labeled as one of America's least livable cities. And like many Rust Belt cities we've struggled economically, we have high rates of poverty and crime. I just wanted to take this minute to acknowledge that there's many people in our city working to make Toledo a better place to live, especially in the mental health community. They're on the front lines. Since I moved to Toledo, I've been involved with three different mental health organizations, um, all of which had very passionate and committed workers. When I first moved to Toledo, um, I first went to NAMI because it was an organization I was familiar with and I volunteered there. Um, Toledo has a pretty large NAMI chapter. They offer support groups and art groups, um, classes, events. They're pretty popular and they've done a really good job of making the mental health community visible in Toledo. And then about a year um, after living in Toledo, I accepted a position as a peer supporter at a large mental health agency. And there, I was always impressed with the caseworkers because they were just always ready to go. They would jump in whenever needed at any moment. Um, and finally now, I'm working for an organization um, that helps people struggling with homelessness as well as mental illness and substance use. I'm the recovery coach and activities coordinator at their art space. We use the arts as a powerful, powerful tool in recovery, and I've met a lot of amazing people there. So mental health workers are vital to any community. Um, so I just want to say, if you're a fellow Toledoan, please vote for the mental health levy this November. And for everyone else, please acknowledge and support your mental health workers. Thank you.